Well, we're off to see a ball game. We're at the NBT Stadium in Syracuse, home of the Syracuse Mets. So let's get going. My name is Jonathan and I'm a caregiver for my wife Lynn who has a permanent brain injury. Things are different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn Life. We're in the park and I'm going to try to talk over the music that's playing in the background. But the, we're here to watch the Syracuse Mets, which is the AAA affiliate for the uh, New York Mets. I love baseball. I love all baseball. But I've been a Mets fan since I was a little kid. My whole life, practically. Uh, growing up in Long Island, just outside New York City, uh, until I was 10. So I was there when the Mets won in 1969. So uh, I, I had to be a Mets fan. And I am very lucky to have a AAA affiliate close to my home. Um, very easy drive. And I love AAA anyways, because it's inexpensive, it's easy, it's not very crowded. And uh, it's just a good time, and it's a great level of baseball. This is right below Major League. You see a lot of Major League players playing in AAA uh, if they've been injured or whatever, if they're sent down. So this is, a, this is a great opportunity. We have some great seats. It's inexpensive. I believe the seats that we purchased, which are very close, you'll see them later, uh, were only $16 a piece. Um, parking was $5. So... It's great. Justin and I are going to go get something to eat right now. Some good food options here. And uh, we're ready to have a good time. Back before Syracuse became the Mets in 2019, they were known as the Syracuse Chiefs. And we're in the gift shop and we're noticing some old hats that still show the Chiefs, the old Chief hats, as well as a lot of the Mets uh, hats as well. But as you may or may not know, I have a whole lot of hats and I did not need another one. Here's a couple cats I do not have. Mr. and Mrs. Salt Potato. Kind of funny. Still not going to get them though. This is the first time I ever attempted to shoot an entire vlog just using my phone. The picture quality is good, but the audio is not, so I apologize for all the ambient audio you hear behind me. First pitch is coming up. Buffalo scored. beautiful day but it's very warm we picked the correct side of the field to sit in because we are not in the sun and this is a it's a terrific game you know no matter what the outcome is this is terrific i want to show you where our seats are uh we're on the uh, third base side and we're just underneath the beginning of that overhang well Justin and I just went for a search for ice cream. We thought maybe ice cream would be good, right? And Justin said, well, if there is an ice cream stand, it's probably going to be crowded because today is it, kids eat free. Kids eat free. So we found the ice cream stand. We're not getting ice cream. Because <laughs> it's like a mile long. But maybe we'll get some ice cream in because it's warm out here. Ice cream is way down there. We decided to get up and 
check out some other areas to watch the game. We're out in the outfield now. Sorry, Justin didn't want to join me, but this is the uh, outfield bar. What is this called, Justin? Definitely. Tell you later. But I uh, decided to have a bud, and it's very warm. I'm actually staying in the, uh, in the sun right now. It's pretty hot. But we're moving around a little bit right now. It's a great areas to see the game. You don't have to stay in your seat the whole time. Perfect. Cheers. Well, out here having my beer, Syracuse just hit another home run over the bar. Over this bar. That was a that was a long ball. This is a great vantage point. Have my beer. Sit up here and watch. Watch uh, fly ball, balls being caught. If you're a kid, this is where you want to sit. Where we were was right over here. It's called the bullpen bar. Well, that's going to about do it for the game. Final score appears to be 9 to 2 Buffalo. But it was a great experience. I really recommend going to a minor league game. It's a lot of fun, not very expensive. We had a great time. So, we'll see you next time on the Lynn Light.